Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now let's solve this problem from chapter 3, Vector Mechanics for Engineers by Baron Johnston. Problem says that it is known that the connecting rod AB exerts on the crank BC a 500 pound force directed down and to the left. So directed down and to the left means that it is acting like this. Uh, along the center line of AB. So the 500 pound force is acting along the center line AB. It is said that determine the moment of the force about that point C. So let's draw the free body diagram for this uh, connecting rod and piston mechanism, right? So uh, let's say that this line represents that. Uh, a B and let's say that this line represents that B C. So this is our point A, this is point B, and this is point C. And we will solve this problem using two different methods. So we can make a duplicate of this. So this is our free body diagrams. Now the force, the 500 pound force is acting along this line A B. So the 500 pound force is acting along this line AB. So now we can find the moment of this 500 pound force about that point C using two methods. So in the first method, we will resolve the force at this point A. So the 500 pound force is acting here. And in the second case, the 500 pound force is acting at point B. So we will get the same result. So this means that uh, the the, the effect of the force along its line of action will remain the same, right? So the line of action of the force is along AB. So it doesn't matter that whether we resolve the force at point B and find the moment of the components of that force um, about this point C, or we resolve the force at point A and, and find the moment uh, when the force is acting at point A, we will get the same moment. So let's say that in the first case, the 500 pound force is acting at uh, point A and that force is acting along line AB. So this is that uh, 500 pound force. So we need to resolve this 500 pound force um, into X, its X and Y components. So we need to have the angle of this 500 pound force with the horizontal or with the X axis and or with the Y axis. So let's say this is our positive X and positive Y direction. So we need to find this angle of 500 pound force. So since this force, uh, 500 pound force is acting along this line AB. So if we somehow find the angle of uh, this AB with the horizontal, we will have that same angle here as well. So we can find that angle here from this diagram. You can see we are having the right angle triangle. So we can find that angle theta. Let's say this angle is theta. So we can find that angle theta using this triangle so we can apply tan theta so tan theta will be equal to if we apply tan theta to this right angle triangle so then tan theta will be equal to this perpendicular divided by the base so the perpendicular this and the base is this so we can say that this is uh, 5.76 divided by 1.68 and we can say that theta is equal to 10 inverse 5.76 divided by 1.68 so this is 5.76 divided by 1.68 this gives us theta equals to 73.74 degrees so this means that uh, this ab is making an angle of uh, 73.74 degrees with the horizontal and we can say that um, this force f is making that same angle theta uh, with the horizontal since this AB is acting along that um, center line AB. So now we can resolve this uh, 500 pound force into its components. So it will have two components. It will have one component in the horizontal direction that is in the negative X and it will have one component in the downward direction that is in the negative Y. So the component the component with which the angle is made is always the horizon uh, is always the cos component so we can say that this is 500 cos of theta and theta is 73.74 degrees and similarly uh, this component the vertical component is the sine component so this is 500 sine of 
73.74 degrees. Let's say if we join this point A and C, so as we can see that this component, the vertical component is passing through that point C. So its moment arm from that point C is zero. So it's not going to produce, the vertical component is not going to produce any moment about point C. So only the horizontal component is going to produce the moment about point C. So now if I find the moment about point C, this will be equal to, and the counterclockwise moment is positive. So since this component is not going to produce the moment about point C, only this component is producing the moment about point C and it's producing the counterclockwise moment. So for counterclockwise moment, we will write plus, and the force which is producing the moment is the cost component, so that is 500 cos of 73.74 degrees multiplied by the perpendicular distance. So the perpendicular distance of this cost component from that point C is this plus this. So we can say that this is 5.76 plus 2.4 inches. So we can say that multiply by 5.76 plus 2.24. So this is 500 cos of 73.74 into 5.76 plus 2.24. So this gives us 1119.986. Um, so we can say that it is approximately equal to 1120 pound inches and this is the moment about point c and since we got the positive sign so this means that the moment about point c is the counterclockwise moment now this is the first method when we resolve the given force at point a now if we resolve the given force at point b um, so again we will have that same force of 500 pounds at point b it is again making that uh, same angle with the horizontal or we can say with the x-axis so we will have that same angle theta here and that angle is 73.74 degrees and we can resolve this into its components we will have that same component here this one will be the cost component since the angle is made with this component so this is 500 cos of 73.74 degrees and we will have the vertical component like this and so this one is the sine component so 500 sine of 73.74 degrees now as we can see that um, this vertical component is not passing through that point c so now it's going to produce the moment about point c and this component is also producing the moment about point c so we can say that the moment about point c Again, the counterclockwise moment is positive. Now, as we can see that this component, the vertical component is producing the moment about point C in the counterclockwise direction. So we will write plus. And the vertical component is the sine component. So 500 sine of 73.74 degrees. And the perpendicular distance of this component from that point C is this distance, which is given here, which is 1.68. So we will multiply this with 1.68 inches. And similarly, the cost component, the horizontal component is producing the counterclockwise moment. So we will write plus. So 500 cos of 73.74 degrees and multiply by the perpendicular distance of this component from point C. So the perpendicular distance of this component from that point C is this distance, which is 2.24. So we will multiply it with 2.24 inches. So we will get the same answer, right? So this is 500 uh, sine of 73.74 into 1.68 so this is we can say that this is 806.40 plus 500 cos of 73.74 into 2.24 so this gives us 313.59 or we can say 60 see this is 313.60 so this answer plus 806.40 so again this gives us the same answer which is approximately 1120 pound inches and this is positive so this is the counterclockwise moment about point c 
So this is how we can solve uh, this problem using uh, two different methods, resolving the force either at A or at B, but we get the same moment about point C and that moment is 1120 pound inches.